Alright folks, so what we have here is the Sparrows Tuxedo Lock Pick Kit. And we're going to open this up, we're going to talk about it a little bit, plus some extras that I threw in there. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back and we'll get started. Alright, hopefully everybody made it back. So what we have here is a lockpick kit from Sparrows, and they're based out of Canada. And uh, what I want to do is open this up. We're going to talk about some of the contents. This is the um, nylon case. It's got some Velcro on it. It's, it's very well done. There is no pocket loop or anything here. This is supposed to be really thin and meant to keep in a jacket pocket, and that's kind of why they call it a tuxedo. Um, I did add some extra components with it, so I'm going to show you those first, and then we'll go through what actually comes with the kit. The Sparrows kit itself is about 40 bucks, and you can get it on sparrows.com, and I'll, I'll link that. But I added some stuff to it because I wanted to have some extra capabilities. Um, the first thing I added, this is called the Sparrows um, Mini Gym, and it's kind of like a slim gym, but it's a little bit smaller, and it's for getting into doors or latches or locks and file cabinets and stuff like that um, that you that are spring loaded and you can kind of get this in there and you can pull the the bolt back and then you can bypass a lock that way instead of trying to have to pick it or, or, or something like that and then uh, the other thing that I picked up was their top of the keyway tension wrench set and that are that's these sets uh, of this set of four tension wrenches this is a Z wrench right here and you can see it's got a little bit of a wider bar and then it's got a little bit of a step here. You can see that there's a mini serrations on that that will allow you to get a little bit of a better grip. And then this is just a Z wrench right here. It doesn't have any any serrations on it. I'm not really good at top of the keyway lock picking. I'm just trying to learn it now. That's why I picked these up. And when you do that, you're picking a lock up by the pins. You're not picking it down at the well. You're always picking the pins, but you're using tension at the top where the pins are, not at the bottom. And these two are the exact same wrench right here. Um, the only difference is, is one's a little bit thinner than the other one. This is a thinner one. And hopefully you can see that there are some serrations in these as well. Oop, just hit the camera by accident. Let me see if I can zoom in on that and get you a little bit of a better picture some mini serrations there and you can use those to give you a little bit of a better grip inside the lock all right and here's what comes with the kit itself now these are for bottom of the keyway tension and that's typically how I pick um, locks in all of my other videos and there are three sets I mean the three um, two sets here each one has three wrenches and these are the exact same size on both of them but these wrenches here have a little bit of a twist in them so when you're picking a lock you can get a little bit more feedback or feeling. I prefer these with the twist in them. And then these are Z wrenches of different sizes um, that you can use either direction. One side is a little bit deeper than the other side is a little bit more shallow. And it just depends on the type of lock that you're picking and uh, what is most appropriate. But it's really handy to have all these different tension options that come with this kit. And then for about $12 more you can add the top of the keyway. Uh, for me these are the most important part of lock picking is really getting your tension and stuff like that down. So let's get into the picks that actually come in this kit. Uh, we're just going to pull them out in no particular order. These are about 25 thousandths thick, and they're a little bit thinner because they don't have handles on them. So in my other video where I showed the Southward kit, it's a pick very similar to this. And then what it has is it has a little bit of a, two pieces of metal that are kind of riveted to either side of this to make the handles a little bit better for gripping and a little bit more comfortable but I really don't need those these are fine for me this first pick right here you can see is a half diamond so it's a straight stem here with a little bit of a half diamond and it works really well for uh, single pin picking I use this one quite a lot um, you, it, it's actually come in more handy than I thought it would this is what they call a uh, city or an L rake and if you take a look at the pick right there you can see it kind of looks like a city skyline I don't know why they would call it an L rake but they do so that's it I think I just mentioned it I mentioned again these are 25 25 thousandths of an inch thick this is another pick that's come in really handy and it's called a hybrid pick so it's kind of like a half diamond except for it has a little bit of a up sweep like a hook does 
and they typically would call that a DeForest diamond, but this isn't a full half diamond on there, so they call this a hybrid pick. And this works really well. I really like this pick quite a bit too. So the main picks that I'm using out of this kit, I'll keep them in two separate piles, are these two, and then this one right here. And then this is just with a short hook right here. And this allows you to get in there and do some single pin picking. So these are the ones I use the most. In here they also have another short hook and it is just like this hook there's no difference except for you can see it's a little bit more flexible it's fifteen thousandth thousandth of an inch and it works really well if you're trying to get into smaller locks or locks that have tighter keyways it's just a little bit more maneuverable and uh, I really like this one a lot but I don't use it as much so these are the ones that I really use a lot getting down to the last two picks this is what they call an S-rake, but it's a modified S-rake for sparrows where it tilts down a little bit. They say that helps a little bit when you're trying to go in and, and rake locks. Um, I've used this a few times, not a whole lot. It's not my favorite pick, but it's not a bad pick. These I really like. I really like this this pick set. It uh, is my everyday carry pick set at this at this moment. And then here's what they call triple peak bogatol, or some people may call this like an extended uh, snake rake. But uh, it works really well when you're trying to rake locks, or if you're trying to single pin pick a lock, you can get this in there and then use it, move it up and down and try to get a false set to give you a little bit of a head start. So anyhow, here's everything that I that I ordered with it. I believe this was about 15 bucks. So total was around $65, $70 for this whole kit. And it works really well for me, and I just want to do a quick video. So that's it. Thanks, everybody.